आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडियाज ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल्स द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे हे भोई रब शक्ति दाओ भक्त पाने चाहो सर्व खर्व तारे दाए टुडे वी ब्रिंग यू द स्टोरी ऑफ अ हीरो फ्रॉम बंगाल इट वाज ऑन दिस डे इन 1929 दिस ग्रेट सन ऑफ इंडिया जतेंद्र नाथ दास मेड द सुप्रीम सैक्रिफाइस फॉर द फ्रीडम ऑफ द कंट्री एट अ यंग एज ऑफ 25 इयर्स fondly called Jatin Das he challenged the might of the british in his own unique way Jatin Das was born on 27th October 1904 at Calcutta the devoted freedom fighter joined the anushilan samiti in bengal at a young age later on he teamed up with bhagat singh and his comrades in the hindustan socialist republic association Jatin Das also participated in the non cooperation movement when he was 17 years old He was a brilliant student but chose to dedicate his life to the freedom movement. The revolutionary freedom fighter could not see his jailed countrymen subjected to deplorable conditions by the British. Determined to seek better treatment of the Indian prisoners, he went on to a 63-day long hunger strike in Lahore jail, which ultimately cost his own life. His sacrifice had the desired impact in terms of the jail authorities agreeing to improve conditions for political prisoners. He was arrested by the British on June 14, 1929 in connection with the Lahore conspiracy case which relates to the killing of the British police officer John Saunders by the revolutionaries. Jatin Das suffered numerous hardships during his hunger strike. He was brutally beaten up and efforts to force feed him damaged his lungs after his death his body was taken to bengal in calcutta subhash chandra bose received his coffin at the howrah railway station over 7 lakh people attended jatin das's funeral procession in the city subhash chandra bose called him the young dadichi of the nation the ancient indian sage who also sacrificed his life for noble cause It was on this day in 1948 the Operation Polo was launched by the Indian Army to integrate the Hyderabad state into the territory of India. By 1948 most of the princely states had acceded to India but the state of Hyderabad had chosen to join neither Pakistan nor India. The then Indian Home Minister Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel requested the Nizam to join India but he refused. The Nizam initially approached the British government with the proposal to designate Hyderabad as a constitutional monarchy within the Commonwealth of Nations. The proposal was rejected by the last Viceroy of India, Lord Louis Mountbatten. For many years the Nizam was facing popular resistance led by the Arya Samaj, the State People's Congress under the leadership of Swami Ramanand Tirth demanding the integration of Hyderabad with India. Under the Nizam an exploitative agricultural structure had come to be established in Hyderabad 40% of the land was either directly owned by the Nizam or given by him to the elites in the form of jagirs special tenures by the 1940 a movement of resistance was taking shape among the peasants against the Nizam and his policies and it reached its zenith by 1946 <laughs> On September 13, 1948, Indian forces entered the state at 4 a.m. under the Operation Polo. At 5 p.m. on 17 September 1948, the Nizam announced a ceasefire. 
Subsequently, he signed an instrument of accession joining India. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in next episode tomorrow.